is there hope for Diana Alvarez and her family? We most certainly hope. A private investigator addressing the question on many minds tonight, will the little nine-year-old ever be found? Authorities spent suspending all searches for the nine-year-old more than two weeks after she disappeared from her San Carlos Park home. This as the prime suspect in her disappearance, 28-year-old Jorge Guerrero, is facing child pornography charges after investigators say they found images on his phone. Four in your corner, Stephanie Tinoco speaking with that private investigator not associated with this case to get some perspective on where things go from here. Stephanie? Amy, the investigator says there are many directions this case can go since a lot of new information has been released. We just recently learned Diana confided in her younger sibling the night before she went missing that she was planning on running away. And there's also proof the prime suspect, Jorge Guerrero, was with Diana the day she disappeared. A mother pleads for community prayers to bring her daughter home. Quisiera decirle a todas las personas. Que sigan orando por la niña. Rita Jimenez fighting back tears holds on to an anchor of hope. Nine year old Diana Alvarez is still alive. Keep praying because I know for a fact that my daughter, it's okay. She's, she's fine. She's okay. Diana's strange disappearance, burdening the hearts of the community, gained national attention. But the clock is still ticking and still no sign of Diana returning home. The family's been assured that there'll be no stone left unturned, that this investigation is not over, it's not winding down. Is there hope for Diana Alvarez and her family? We most certainly hope that she will be found. Private investigator Walt Zalisco, who is not affiliated with the case, he says these cases take a lot of time. A lot of times these cases can take months and she can be alive somewhere, you know, she can be in hiding, or somebody's hiding her. In hiding or worse. Possibly she was abducted, be sexually abused. She can be, have been abducted for trafficking purposes. And says the speculation she could be en route to Mexico to be with her biological father should still be considered. Although he denies it at this time, she may be en route. And as we wait for answers, time is of the essence. It's still going to be worked on. How long they're going to work on it, that's the question, until they decide that it's going to be basically a cold case. Now, Sheriff Mike Scott recently released a statement to Fox 4 reassuring us there aren't any additional suspects being investigated in the case. And while a physical search has been suspended, they are focused on this active investigation to find Diana. Reporting from the newsroom, Stephanie Tinoco, Fox 4, in your corner.